I think what most everybody really wants to know is what's the next thousand years of science, okay? I mean, that's, so one easy general answer is, well, it's this. Okay, it's more structuring of information, more connections between things that we've made and know, more ways of knowing, deeper, more complex things. But what you really want to know is, you know, well, when are we going to have flying cars? <laughs> right? Or robots that talk. Um, or maybe virtual reality. So let me tell you about what, 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 I, what my, some of my speculations are on the next 100 years of science. So first, um, I would say is that um, science is going to change more in the next 50 years than it has in the past 400 years. As, 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 as different as the scientific method is now from it was 400 years ago in, in, in Bacon and Boyle and Newton, it's going to be even more different in the next 50 years to 100 years. Okay? Because we're going to continue to restructure how we know about things and the process of how we change how we know. Okay, so the second thing I would say is that it's going to be a bio-century. And it's not just because John means a biologist. Um, it's because biology, even this year, already, is the biggest science that we have. It gets, it, there's, biology gets the most funding, has the most scientists working at it, has the most results being published, it has the most economic value, it's the most ethically and culturally important, and I think it has the most to learn from. Okay, I think there's actually more information in biology for us to extract out of than there is in physics. Okay, so the difference is, is that while physics is very deep, it hasn't been changing over four billion years. It's exactly the same physics that it was from the beginning of time until now. Whereas biology has had four billion years of investing huge amount of energy into making it very, very complex and full of information. It's very informationally dense. And so it's, it, 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 it's, it's a huge treasure trove of things that we don't know. The third thing I would say is that computers are going to lead to a third way of science. Okay.